Hello and welcome to our ninth COVID-19 market update with Thomas Caldwell. Today is August 5th, 2020, and it's about 20 weeks since we started self-isolating and social distancing. Tom, the Canadian economy relies upon small business, uh, which is the heart of everyone's community. Everybody wants to support local. Now, a recent survey said it would take probably 10 months for those small businesses to get back to their capacity. Right. What can you say to an entrepreneur who's struggling or feeling uncertainty right now? Well, I, I always use the adage in business, hanging in is winning. If you can hang in long enough, you're gonna make your passes. The, the statistic of 10 months to come back is not helpful because the average small business does not have the cash reserves to last 10 months with very little business. The good news is, uh, I, I use sort of a little example, uh, Niagara on the Lake. I was talking to a, a closed retailer there. His business is about 48% of what it has been, which is actually not bad. He thinks he might be able to get it up another 10. What was also interesting, if I might use that microcosm, is in the last few weekends in Niagara on the Lake, I've seen more people in that town than I've seen during normal periods of time. People are trying to get out, they are traveling within Canada. But make no mistake, small business is having a terrible time of this. It's very tough. It's because it's very often mom, pop. They're just paying bills as they can possibly handle it. And that's, that's a, a very challenging time. One of the things I do uh, when I go to restaurants, I really give big tips. I mean, way beyond 20%, because these people are struggling. Uh, the waiter, the wait people, everybody's struggling. So uh, I have the benefit of, of uh, working and being able to work every day. So if I can spread what little, what little wealth I have around to help people in that. And I think we have to have this sense of generosity about ourselves when we're dealing with small enterprises and local enterprise. I think that's very important. Kindness goes a long way. Absolutely. And of course, there's so much going on in the world right now. Let's talk about the financial markets. Well, it's really interesting. Markets have not really, after March, really taken into account the impact of COVID. It's looking beyond COVID. It's looking to next year's earnings. Everybody knows this year is going to be a disaster. Everybody's looking to what it's going to be like in 2021. Uh, the, the, the usual suspects, you know, the social media companies, computer companies have all done spectacularly and have reached new highs. On the other hand, gold is moving up to new highs, reflecting the fact that we're printing so much money that we may end up with inflation down the road here. In the meantime, interest rates are very, very low. So that means you can borrow money at low rates and buy stuff, and uh, stuff being houses, et cetera. Uh, but I think it's quite interesting. I, my sense is, from just using my own small examples that I see, uh, I think we're going to have a quick bounce back when we get into the next phase of this. The key statistics, which we don't get, is new deaths each day. Uh, in Ontario, for the last week or two, it's been running at two. Well, that's not even a rounding error. So in actual fact, the, the real statistics, that is deaths per day or growth on that, has come way, way, way down. The treatment is better. If you go into the hospital now, you've got a pretty good chance you're gonna be all right. Whereas in March, they did not have a handle on treatment. So I think markets are looking beyond, they're looking at fundamentals like printing all this money, low interest rates, what are earnings gonna look like next year. So it's beyond the COVID. Uh, now we're gonna have some static as we get into the latter part of this year with uh, the election uh, in the United States and all the rhetoric and, and, <laughs> and soap opera that's going to be part of that. But uh, uh, markets have done fairly well, but a lot of the bigger companies haven't moved. A lot of the, the social, the usual ones have, but there's still some value there in the markets. Thank you so much for your time, Tom. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy.